And I think what I just really love is how like they're like really they're like really simple workouts, but at the same time they're very efficient. Um, I can definitely say like what well, like I think the most pain I felt was like in my legs, <laughs> probably because like like that's the actual muscle I work the least. Mm-hmm. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, um, if I had to rate it on a scale of one to ten, I'd definitely give it probably like maybe a nine point five out of 10 just simply because i don't believe in perfection but um yeah um the app has been like really helpful the only thing though i would say has been really challenging is like with the nutrition plan like actually like like putting on weight is actually um a lot harder than i thought it was gonna be and i think simply because like i've kind of like conditioned my mind to like not eat as much just out of fear of like gaining weight Mm. and that's something i'm trying to change but it hasn't necessarily been easy um and at the same time, I think it's been kind of hard, like deciding like which foods like to eat, which foods to stay away from. Mm-hmm. And so I think like that's like the tricky part. Um, and so I do think something I do want to start getting into the habit of doing is like meal prepping more because um, I don't really do it too much. But like especially like after that um, accountability meeting we had on uh, Thursday, mm-hmm. I think that's something I want to get in the habit of doing more. Yeah, I know for sure, man. I mean, that all of these things like anything that you invest more time on you know is gonna you're gonna get the results right so if we want something to work for us you know we got to put in the work you know right i want results if i want i gotta put in the reps i gotta i gotta put in the hours i gotta put in the time you know we can't just wish you know for something and lay on the couch you know like i i gotta i gotta make it happen otherwise no one no one's doing it for me, right? Exactly. Um, yeah. yeah, man. So one week, like, how did you, you know, did you notice? I mean, um, I mean, it was kind of mostly full body workout. Mm-hmm. You, know, you, you used to do more like the weights and stuff, you know, but at the same time, conditioning or strengthening wise form, you know, um, yeah, like I mean, how 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 did you feel them? Like, um, so I actually did notice a difference, and I think because like it's one of those like quality over quantity, and then vice versa. Because it's like you know before this, like I'd always focus on getting like seeing like how many I could do, as opposed to like worrying about like if the form is correct. Because it's like if the form's sloppy, then the whole point of the workout is meaningless. And so like once I like actually started doing this, like I was actually able to pay attention to like okay, like 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 when doing the diamond pushups, for instance, yeah. like making sure like, you know, your elbows are in a certain place and then mm-hmm. like making sure you're like getting down like deep enough. Yes. Um, and so, yeah, I could definitely feel a difference. Like That's once the- I actually paid attention. So. Yeah, I mean, no, 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 definitely. I mean, it's, it's just kind of setting the foundation, you know, um, sometimes we, we eager, we, we want, you know, we want to go lift. We want to put on weight. We want to lift heavy, you know, um, but I, that has happened to me a bunch of times when it comes to sometimes I injure my shoulder or, you know, bench pressing, you know, you're just trying to jump from one weight to the next without really getting the form right, without getting, you know, strong with a couple of reps with a heavy weight instead of trying to, you know, jump into something that, you know, it might be too, yeah, too much for us. And then when we don't have the form right, we we can injure ourselves so i mean yeah like you said uh and that's you know part of the challenge is slowing things down just to like all right let's see where we at let's see how you feel you know and how you like the workouts at the same time you know um what was like one of the favorite parts like what did you like you know was there one that you're like man that one I felt it and you were just kind of hate loving it in a way. <laughs> I can definitely, the um, three exercises I did on Friday, like the T push ups, like where you push up and then like turn to the side like that. And then the, um, like clapping push ups, those two were like my, I think those were like my top two at least. Um, and I think the one that I probably like had like a, I guess, love hate relationship <laughs> with was um, like the Superman. Like, Ooh, I, was, uh-huh. I was having like the hardest time like, it's, like it's so simple but it's like I, like even after i looked at the video it's like like am i just, up high enough like am i doing it right and so i think that one was just it was it was pretty tricky okay 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 
Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's, it's that uh, we called also that uh, mus- mind to muscle connection. You know, um, Erica was talking about that on, on the last call, like just really focusing on the, you know, targeting the muscle, right? So when we're, when you, when you're laying on the ground and we're doing that, the Superman extending the legs and the arms, it's not just about, you know, it's, it's, it's like contracting and feeling, you know, the extension, feeling the contraction and coming down and rest. It's like, it's like if you're, if you're massaging the muscles, cause you're contracting and releasing, contracting and releasing, you know, that's, that's really where we are making them work. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, but yeah, no, I mean, I, the, the reason why I was asking too, too, because, you know, you telling me that that's what this is about. I got to hear, man, this one, I feel, I feel silly doing this or, you know, like sometimes that has happened to me. I was like, I don't mm-hmm. know if I'm, I don't know if I'm doing this right, man. Like yeah. I feel weird, you know, but that's what we gotta, that's what we're working on. Right. So it's like, okay, right. man, am I doing it right? Am I doing it wrong? Okay. Let's see how it feels. And let's just keep, you know, keep, keep working on that. Um, what else? What else? So yeah, man, I mean, the app itself, did you like the timer? Like, um, tell me a little bit more about that. Like the workout itself, you know, did you feel like it was easier to follow? Like, was it challenging? I, I do think like having a timer, it definitely does help. It does help me stay like more focused and like, you know, not like, I guess, take too long of a break. And it's like, okay, you know, you know, do this exercise for like, say like 45 seconds, break for like 15 to 30 seconds, then get back to it. And so it's like, I guess, like, even though it's like someone's not like physically in the room, it's like, it, you know, it motivates you. It kind of like gives you like something to like make you feel driven, you know? Yeah, yeah. Looking at it, looking at the time running down, just like, oh, mm-hmm. shoot, okay, two more. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, how much, like, how much more can I crunch in, in that little like increment? Exactly. Left? That, that's it, man. Like, I mean, that's it. You know, may, maybe first in 30 seconds, we can only do five, 10 reps of something. You know, and as you progress, you know, maybe then you're able to do 12, you know, 15 in those 30 seconds, 45 seconds. And yeah, that's exactly it. Like we just, we keep mastering, we keep conditioning and we keep just making the body strong by activating literally everything instead of just one muscle at a time. You know, when we need the whole body to be, to be fine tuned. Right. Right. All right, all right, man. No, man, I appreciate it. Like that's that's you know the the main reason of it is 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 to to challenge you a little bit to see where you're at, right? Is um the challenge is just put together to, you know, it's not necessarily fine tuned to you, per se, right now, right? That one is just like thirty second, thirty second, twenty second, thirty second, like just kind of easy a little bit as well, but. You know, that's the, the whole point of this is for us to find the, your, your maintenance, your, your, where you at so that we can take it from there and start, you know, tracking and making adjustments mm-hmm. as, as, as we go. So, um, yeah. So did you, did you, do you feel like you, you said it, you know, you don't have a trainer there with you, but following the program, you know, it could make you feel or sense you know, follow things a little bit easier. Um, yeah. So if it was, if it was tailored more to you and your equipment and your stuff like that, like, is this something that you see that can help you keep reaching your goals? I, yeah, I do. I do see that happening. Like, um, right. yeah, like in terms of like having like a timer and everything like that. But, but like and, and then the tracking, like, let's say over weeks, over a month. Right. So like, before we're not tracking anything so now knowingly that you're going to go to your calendar and you're going to have all of your workouts in there already planned out for you you don't have to worry about you know i am taking you from three rounds to four rounds to five rounds from 10 to 12 reps to three sets to four sets you know Mm -hmm. stuff like this where you don't have to worry about how am i going to keep track of my progression. I remember, I think the first call we had last week, I was asking if you kept log or if you would write down, you know, what you do, how much weight, how many reps, because keeping a log is what helps people measure results and make adjustments. But it's hard to keep track of everything all the time. Like where, 
bringing out a piece of paper, you know, a little logbook mm -hmm. on the notes, you know, on your phone, you know, but on the, on the, on the, on the app, like we, it stays there. And then, you know, we know what you did last week, how many reps did you do? You know? So, um, Yeah, I just want to see if you feel like it's important to keep track of things and like the if the app kind of covers that. Yeah, I mean, because like before, like I never really paid a whole lot of attention to tracking, but it's like after this week, you know, like I have seen the importance of it, like in terms of like measuring my progress, because, you know, like before, like when you don't have structure, it's like stuff like that goes over your head. But it's like I think like now I have developed like a much more of an appreciation and like seeing the importance of like why you need to like track, you know, what it is you're putting in your body and then like the input you're putting in the workout. And so like in the future, like this is something like the, the app, I would definitely say does play like a major role in like helping me like um, get there. Track all that. Yeah. And reach, reach that and keep track of everything. No, for mm -hmm. sure, man. I mean, if, every tool that we have, like it's going to help us. Right. So exercise wise, you know, workouts, you're pretty, you know, you're pretty dedicated. You go, you show up, you get it done. Right. Um, mm -hmm. What, what do you think is then, you know, you just told me a little bit um, the, the fear of just kind of putting on weight or eating more, but it's like, you're contradicting yourself at the same time. Right. You're like, yeah. Man, I, I want to gain weight, but I don't want to eat. <laughs> yeah um i don't know like you tell me what you think is your, your your biggest challenge then like you know overcoming this like just feeling better like what what will it take like you eating so if you know that you're gonna put in the work if that's clear in your mind that no matter what happens every day you're gonna show up and do 30 minutes you know, of, of anything mm -hmm. to put, to put those calories to use, to put those calories to go where you want them to go. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, what, well, that you think, you know, just like having a clear mind, like, Hey, this is what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to go eat that other thing. It's like what Erica was telling Leslie on the call as well. Like, mm -hmm. Go. You have the opposite problem that I do. It's just like, <laughs> yeah. Your your you, your metabolism is different, right? You you mm -hmm. you burn faster. You know you don't you know you don't keep it on like you know you and then that's why you have to eat even more because if you're burning so much, you're on their feet all day. You know you're going to school, you're working, you're doing all these things. Like man, your body is just on burn in burning mode, right? So mm -hmm. I got to make sure that now don't just go eat burritos and burgers and, you know, stuff, yeah. right? Pizza, just high calorie stuff that is not, you know, healthy, but now balance it out with the high protein meals, you know, protein shakes, mm -hmm. you know, a good, a good uh, protein mix salad, you know, things like that. Some mm -hmm. tuna with avocado toast, some, chicken and you know salad some fish and shrimp you know tacos whatever you know just mm -hmm. healthy quesadillas with something you know like stuff like that man just like enjoy yourself have fun with it like knowingly that those extra three five hundred calories you're gonna go put them to use at the gym you know what i mean yeah so mm -hmm. what do you what do you think will be the biggest thing that you would need help with I think like, so I think the challenge is like, like knowing specifically what it is to eat and what not to eat. Cause it's like, I don't know, on the outside, something might like, um, um look, look like, healthy, but it's not, or what do you mean? So like, um, like earlier this week, I, um, I asked Parker, um, and this was something that I saw online, like someone drinking, you know, like iced coffee, like with milk, but no sugar in it. I wasn't sure if, like, that's, you know, like, a good protein option, like, because of the milk. And so, like, I asked Parker, and he said that, I mean, that's a good caffeine option, but in terms of protein, probably not the best. Um, and so, um, I think, like, that's, like, really the hard part, because it's, like, you know, you're putting in all these calories, but it's, like, if it's the wrong thing, then it's, like, you're not going to be getting the right kind of energy you need to put in the work. So, that's what we, that's what the macros come in. I think we talked about that. Yeah. So, Just worrying about calories 
is going to give us some result. Mm-hmm. But na- but then when you break it down into the macros, like what's what's carbs, what's protein, what's fat, that's where the that's where the difference is going to come in. You know, so if you're hitting it, if you're hitting the workouts and you're not eating enough protein, we're gonna stay we're gonna stay fluffy. We're gonna stay we're gonna stay not toned. You know, right. so you know you you've heard of the keto diet. You know, the keto diet is mainly is just fat and protein like no carbs right but that that works for some people mm-hmm. you know for other people you know a, a heavy carb diet and, and balanced protein with a little less fat but you hit in the gym can help grow the muscles as well you know mm-hmm. um so it just depends what you know being but keeping track of it so that we know now like hey man okay look we're gonna try this for two weeks, bam, okay, keep track of everything, so then we know how you feel, I lost two pounds, but I look at my, look at my shirt, or look at my picture, I'm, I'm a little bit more toned, so losing weight doesn't mean that you're losing muscle, now, now we're, the, our goal here is to lose that, that, that fat, mm-hmm. that layer, so that we can, make those muscles pop right so you might be you know at a certain weight and then you weigh yourself and you lost two pounds you're like i'm supposed to be gaining weight man what the hell's going on hey stay with it maybe you drop a pound of of fat in there you don't even know but look how you look in the mirror like well i mean yeah my arms are a little more toned like i see my shoulders popping Mm -hmm. what do you think is happening right like your, your muscle is growing. The fat is, is dropping, mm-hmm. you know? So obviously now we keep, we keep doing it right now. So that's what I was saying. We try something for two weeks. We try a certain, the certain macro split, you know, um, a certain amount for protein, certain amount for carbs, certain amount for fat. We track that for two weeks and then we see how you feel. And then we change the plan again, right? Like, okay, now let's go for these many calories. But now start watching out for carbs, fat, protein, keep doing the same thing. But mm-hmm. like you were saying about meal prepping, meal prep and tracking is just like as important, you know, because you need to know what's in it so that you start understanding what's making you feel bloated, what's making you gain weight, what's making you, you know, feel stronger what's making you feel more energetic what's making you feel more lazy you know it's like every time we eat fast food we get lazy it's just like oh man i'm ready for a nap now bro like (laughs) (laughs) and the end food's supposed to do the opposite right exactly yeah (laughs) it's supposed to help us feel energetic not not want to go to sleep it's like Mm -hmm. food is fuel you know it's energy like why is it making us feel lazy and lethargic you know just because we're not eating the right it's you know it's too much of something Mm -hmm. but um yeah so if i take that away from you and say okay look you know seth we're gonna do like i was telling you we're gonna do these calories we're gonna do these macros and i want you to that's the i want you to screenshot me i want you to send me a picture of what you're gonna eat today i want you to post it on the group i want you to track it i want you to send me send it to me so that i know and then if you have a question in there, be like, hey, man, well, uh, IG, I can I can find this. Or um, what do you think of this? Or I'm at this restaurant. Or can I make this with this? Or I don't know how to track it. You know, I'm, okay. So that's what we're here for, me and Parker. So mm-hmm. like, hey, man, okay, let's find it. Okay, well, how much? looks like six ounces, right? Bam, okay. Look, don't worry about the brand. Just get the stuff in there. It's grilled chicken. Don't matter where it's from. It's grilled chicken. Six ounces of grilled chicken. That's all we're eating. We talked about the the grilled chicken nuggets. Mm-hmm. That maybe that's a better option instead of the salad or instead of the sandwich with you know mm-hmm. stuff like that. But those are the things that you see. Like I will keep opening your mind to suggestions and like, oh okay, that's cool. I didn't think of that. Now get twelve of them eat six now, eat six after your class or whatever, you know, like drink water, just stuff like that. So 
what I'm trying to say is like if I if if I just that's what I can help you with. Like, would you see yourself sticking to the thing that we need to do? Yeah, definitely. Like following following what what we're what we're setting as a goal today. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I'm saying, man, like you can you can be wanting to, but then if you start letting things get in the way and you don't track it, you don't log it, you don't do it, man. Like it's just not it's not gonna give you what you're looking for, and it's so right. simple. Right. But that's why that's also like what's easy to do. It's easy not to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, ah, that's easy. I'll do it later. And then it never gets done. Right. Um, let me find you right here, man. Let's see. Yeah. So that definitely, man. So what we need, what we need is just to have a better, a better tracking of the meals and the nutrition and the goals um and so yeah if we do that i mean trust me i feel you're gonna start getting it's like parker man i mean i don't know what he told you parker started the same way like i can't put on weight man i can't do this i'm 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 i'm, I'm, I'm small i'm skinny in a way you know like and he lives and he works out he was a wrestler he did rugby you know like But that's the thing, like you start realizing the lifestyle, you're just on constant burning calorie mode. So you're not stacking anything and then you don't want to go eat. That muscle is going to stay lean. Like you never seen a marathon guy, you know, with big legs, you know, or even wide shoulders, you know. Um, you see a swimmer body, you know, the swimmer body that that you just working out the muscles all the time is not just run cardio you know burning the strength and conditioning but yeah man okay 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 so I what i was thinking you know for for you two so it'll be starting with a with a you know a specific you know caloric goal specific macros we use the app to track it mm -hmm. And we just keep making adjustments as you go. Like, you know, I, I just want to make sure that's what Parker helps me with. Make sure you're on track, you know, mm -hmm. like checking in with you until we don't have to check in with you. Like in, in that, in that exactly in that sense, like, mm -hmm. Hey man, I got this. Like I'm posting the meal or I'm posting my, my screenshot of fitness pal. I'm posting this, or I post it in the group. Like I got this. All right. Just keep, keep doing it. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, so what we'll do is also in, you know, every week or every two weeks, I'll be spicing up your workouts. I'll be, I'll be switching it around, mm -hmm. you know, so we'll keep bringing old ones to see how your uh, str strength is coming up, mm -hmm. right? Like those diamond push-ups, you know, something you'll probably see them every two, three weeks. They're going to, they're going to show up. You're like, ah. Oh, Here we go. Mm -hmm. But but maybe now they're starting to become a little easier, right? Now right. you're like, oh, man, I remember I was only able to do five very slow. Now I'm doing seven, ten on my own. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Um, I mean, what else, man? Tell, tell me what, you know, what would you think it would be the best thing that you can have so that we can get you to those goals? Um. Yeah, tracking macros and, and calories. Um, Nutrition, you know, ideas, meal ideas. Um, the workouts. So you said they would switch up like, you know, like every two, like three weeks or something like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm I think support wise, you know, like having having a call. So that's why we do the meeting that we did. Mm-hmm. Right. So those, yep. then you'll have one with me. You'll have one with Parker like once a week. Mm -hmm. So that we're like, hey, man, ah, sorry. At the last three days, I didn't do it. But it just like support, like refreshing the goals, like making sure that you stay on track. And that's part of what we do with the accountability is to not to make you feel bad, not to call you out, but just to make sure that you're following so that we can 
promise and guarantee the result that you started, you know, looking for. Otherwise, what's the point, right? Yeah. That's I think, what, mm -hmm. um, like in terms of like um, the one-on-one -on -one Zoom calls that you mentioned, I think um, as long as like what, like I'm being like 100% about like where I'm at and then like you guys are being like 100% about like what needs to happen, what needs to change, like what I need to put in, like what I need to kind of like avoid. Exactly. I think, I don't know, just that, you know, 100% authenticity is like what's going to like help me like stay focused and that's what's going to help me like actually like get to where it is I'm trying to go. Because I feel like, you know, once I, you know, once I have that, then it's like the rest should like come a lot more naturally. That makes sense. Exactly. No, no, man. I mean, it's, that's what I'm asking. You know, you, you know yourself better. I'm getting to yeah. know you. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you tell me, right. You're like, man, I, this is where I, this is where I lack sometimes. This is where I don't feel, you know, like I'm, I'm, I don't know. That's what, that's what I'm asking you. Like where, where will we need to be so that you have all those tools so that we can keep getting you to fill up those shirts? Um. <laughs> I would say you be honest with me, man, just anything, you know, like what, what the, 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 the more, the more trust that we have, the more communication we have, the better we can help each other. Right. Like mm -hmm. I, I can tell you what I can do, but at the same time, I want to hear from you say like, look, like this is what's been sometimes in the way, or if you guys can work around this, or if y'all can help me with this, you know, and then just keep checking on me, make sure that I'm on track, like, you know, lay it out for me. You know, what, what is it that you need? So like, actually like one Be question honest. that I do have, um, when you guys, do you guys have, when um, meeting virtually, do you ever like, I don't know, like do the workout with a person like together just to kind of like see where that person's at and just kind of like, I don't know, like do a comparison. Um, Cause I think that like, I don't know, it's kind of like seeing it like in action is kind of like like okay. when it comes to stuff like that i am kind of a visual learner like okay, seeing okay, okay. Do it kind of, not to say the videos don't help because they do but i don't know sometimes like even like when i'm like talking to that person live i think it goes a long way too no i got you okay yes i mean we normally don't but uh that's something that we you know we've considered you know um the the only thing is just uh, it's uh, finding the right time, right? When you're going to work out so that mm -hmm. we can line it up mm -hmm. to make it that time. But yeah, so another, uh, uh, one thing about that too is like, that's why like you did already recording yourself doing the workout. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what's up because then I see, hey man, that burpee needs to be lower. Hey, that squat needs to drop lower. Hey, right. this. Mm -hmm. so when you're having second thoughts about how doing something like the superman you just told me i'd be like okay seth do me a favor record yourself doing the doing the doing the supermans and then you just send that to me you don't have to post it if you don't feel comfortable okay in the in the app or on a text you can just send it to me or to parker be like hey guys i'm not sure if i'm doing this right bam record yourself 10 15 seconds mm -hmm. send it right Gotcha. And then we and then we critique right away. Be like, all right, okay, I see what you're saying. You know, next time, try to do this, try to do that and hold it, or try to do this here and hold, or you know, blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. But I will love, I will love to have, like maybe once a week or every two weeks, just have like that one workout that was a little harder to do, or something like that, and then we can just do a live, you know, a live workout either on a Zoom or on the gram or whatever just like because mm -hmm. that's something that i've been wanting parker to do too just like do do a live a live workout on the, mm -hmm. on the but okay yeah no that that works man what else um i think really that's just like the main thing um like just kind of like having that like authentic like communication of like you know letting you know where i'm at okay. like Yeah, just like the live one on one. You know, yeah. Talking about it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, 
Yeah, that's it. And then what else? That's it. Um, what do you think you need? You need like motivation, like how you're motivated, you're doing it, but, uh, but something's missing, right? Like the nutrition, you need, you need, you need something. Mm -hmm. there. Um, I can't really um, think about that, like at the moment, um, like specifically what it is that you need to turn, like other than like tracking with macros and calories and everything. Um, I think the only thing though, um, I just want to make sure I'm doing like, if I do stick with this long-term, cause yeah, I do want to stick with this. It's just like making sure that like, I actually like follow through with it. And like long-term it's like, it's something that like, I actually do take seriously. Cause like last thing I want to do is like, say I'm going to like stick with it, but then it's like, it feels like I'm not getting anywhere. And it's like, you know, I'm wasting your time, wasting Parker's time. Like I, that's the last thing I want to do. Uh, cause if it's like, like if I commit to it, then it's like, I want to give it like 100% like every day. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, I don't know. I think like the heart for me, like the hardest part is just like making sure I'm going to be like 100% honest with myself. Cause it's like, you know, you got one day where it's like, you know, like, like I feel invincible. Like I got this, I can take it. But then it's like one day it's like, uh, I'm not so sure. Like maybe I'll do it tomorrow. And then it's like, before you know it, like one day after another, you fall behind. And that, that's, I think that's the only thing I'm afraid of. Like saying I'm going to stick with it, but then it's like, I fall behind. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. But why, why would you, why would you, what would make you fall behind? Um, I think like, I don't know, like procrastinating in like other areas of life. I think like, I don't know, like there were a few things I had to kind of like that, you know, like I put on hold just to like, you know, get the workouts through. But then I don't know, like, like what? So like, um, in like terms of work like, or, or what? Um, it's kind of homework. Um, yeah, some days it actually was homework if, I, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Um, and so I, I think, I think that's one of the, things i'm kind of glad like I'm, I'm like trying it out i'm like trying to app out like a 14-day challenge like free just to see like you know okay like um what's the time of day is best to like implement this workout and like what's um it kind of like gives you that sense of like you know time management mm -hmm. um okay like like what time works best you know to do this so i can have time to like do this later so on and so forth and um so yeah it has helped at the same time it kind of has been a little tricky like in terms of like managing like other points um and then oh yeah and then sleep that is like has been like really really uh a bit of a challenge just because like i don't fall asleep very easily um sometimes it'll take me like 30 minutes to an hour to like get like a i don't know consistent yeah. sleeping mm -hmm. pattern um because i don't know it's like sometimes it's like i'll like wake up like halfway through sleep and it's like it'll take me another 30 minutes and it's like you know because you know like sleep that kind of plays a part in like you know growth and like yeah feeling yeah 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 feeling good mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And that can like play a part in like sometimes like my, you know, mental and emotional health, like throughout the day. And like in terms of like my motivation, it's like, and sometimes like even my confidence level. Okay. Um, but so talking about it, talking about it helps or no? It does. Um, at the same time, though, I think um, like in terms of like, of like telling like um, the struggles of that, I think like there's, there is like a certain part yeah. of me that is kind of like hesitant because it's like there's like um i don't know the spirit of like trust me and breach or whatever i don't know because what i'm saying is like i have a hard time like you know deciding like what information you know to tell a person which information to like you know withhold because it's like you never know like what that person's going to do with that info that's something that that's been a struggle like for like years like that yeah. this goes like way back and so i don't know like kind of find that uh, you, you 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 don't trust right away like you got to know that they might you know twist what you're saying mm -hmm. and, you know mm -hmm. and, and make their own judgment of what you just said exactly but again you know we don't we don't worry about that exactly yeah yeah i know people um, will be people the haters will be haters right, you know? right. anybody has their own way of you know interpreting things but we stay true to who we are what we do right like Exactly. I'm not, I, I'm telling you, you know, I, you're not going to please everybody, you know, not everybody's going to love you and like you, you know, and the ones that I hate is, you know, in jealousy, you know, you're doing something they wish they were doing, mm -hmm. you know, they, they hate on that confidence that you have that you and I know it might not even be, I'm super confident. I, I suffer from self-confidence, but when I go out there, 
I like to have, I like to elevate, you know, my frequency, my vibration, my energy to affect others around me and make seem this so that they can behave that way with me. Guillermo, you're such an inspiration. You're such a light. You have this energy about you. Cause that's what I want to hear. Cause that's what feeds my soul instead of negativity. Right. So right. if I go out there like, well, guys, look, I'm not like, I suffer from this and I just keep trying to be a victim or anything like I'm going to keep getting that victim treatment, right? You know, or people are not going to understand me. Mm -hmm. But if I'm saying, you know, look, but this is what I do, but I like to be this way with others so that, you know, we all help each other elevate mm -hmm. ourselves, you know? Yeah. But I got you, man. Like, I've been there where I've lost friends, but the, they, they weave themselves out. Mm -hmm. We don't worry about that. The right yeah. people will stay and stay and, and stay with you. You don't have to explain yourself. You don't have to be telling people what you did wrong. What did I, what, how can I, you do you, you do you. And then if people want to complain, people want to make you feel guilty. People want to, you know, pass, you know, they said put their trash on you. They want to keep putting their, their, their stuff on you. You know, some people do that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we, we don't take it personal. Just say, man, this person is really going through something. You know what I mean? Like, it's not you. You did it. Maybe you, you know, but not trust. That trust is fine. You know, don't trust. Don't share everything. Not everyone's your friend. Not everyone's out there to see what everybody's got their problems. And that's the only thing they're worried about. Right, they're not worried about your problems. They're worried about their own problems. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I don't want to share my problems with anyone because then they might twist it. They might get it wrong. But I'm gonna tell you my wins. I'm gonna tell you what I'm working on. I'm mm -hmm. gonna tell you how I felt this morning when I did this. Mm -hmm. You know, I helped someone. Let me share that. Someone said this about me because I had a call and I had a conversation at the supermarket, and the, I helped this lady get this thing, and she was like, "Oh my God, that was so nice of you. Thank you so much. You made my day." I like, those are the things that I keep repeating, you know, just keep talking about this, you know, love and positivity, right? Like you do your, uh, do you do like a Bible study or something like that? Or like, mm -hmm. stuff, right. So like you guys you get together. Mm -hmm. um, Wednesdays and Fridays are usually like the days I meet up with them and it, it does help. And then, but then it's like, even sometimes if I like fall out of sync with that, then that does play like a part. So I guess you could say that plays mm -hmm. a part, like, you know, your spiritual health, like that's yeah. like a that's like that's i think just as important to me as like the mental is physical and emotional health. yes sir is what keeps get, getting you grounded man like we don't have mm -hmm. it figured out is what i would say like you you just said it too you know one day you're gonna feel great the other one you're gonna feel like shit what are we gonna do we're not gonna feel like shit all day let me tell you exactly i'm gonna, I'm gonna feel like shit 30 minutes i'm gonna cry i'm gonna do my thing mm -hmm. and i'm just gonna let me go for a run you know, let me pull out the book. Let me go do what I got to do today so I can feel productive and have 10 productive things over two shitty things, you know? So at the end of the day, productivity wins. Love wins, you know, positivity wins. Instead of just like, I feel like shit, I'm just going to stay in bed feeling like shit all day and not do anything. Well, yeah, you're letting it win, right? Mm -hmm. but but that's what i was saying you know we don't have it figured out we just had to keep keep doing the thing like this is what i do with you what i'm doing with everyone else the more that i share the more that we keep talking about these goals the more it becomes a reality the more it becomes what i you know my calling your calling which is becoming this confident badass person so that you can keep represent you know bringing this energy to the other people around you Mm -hmm. that's where it's at is like us focusing on ourselves to be a better person so that we attract that from other people they want to be near you because you give them this sense of you know trust and and, and positivity and good energy like seth i gravitate towards you because you 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 said you, it seems like you you you're in a right, very good place you're like hell no like <laughs> not even but but it's in us mm -hmm. and it's an internal fight right all the time mm -hmm. every day man every day but we set the tone the soul the mind the brain it's a muscle 
it's the same. We got to practice it. I practice it with gratitude. I practice it with meditation. I practice it with reading, you know, the Bible, being grateful about things and saying things. Wake him up saying thanks. Thanks for another day. Thanks for being here. Thanks for my help. Thanks for have a roof. Thanks for all, man, 10 things that I'm thankful for. Man, I walk out, somebody gives me the finger. I don't give a shit. Man, whatever. <laughs> somebody yelled at you at the restaurant. Man, whatever. I know mm -hmm. they get me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But we got to, it's a, it's a thing. Like we have to keep doing it. We're not, mm -hmm. it's not like, oh, I got a problem. I had a flat tire. You see, it doesn't work. I'm trying to be a positive person and I still, that stuff happens to me. Mm -hmm. Dude, that stuff happening to everyone. And that's actually a lesson to see, to test your patience. Right. To, to test, you know, there, there was a meme like that on that God Almighty, uh, Bruce Almighty, I think it was one of those movies. They said uh, the God was telling, you know, like if, 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 if God wanted you to, you know, um, test your patience, is he going to give you, you know, like no problems? Mm -hmm. you know? Like if he wants to test the way that you love, like is he going to bring you just love or, you know, challenge love so that you can keep, yeah. you know, figuring it out, right? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. he's not just going to lay it out for you. He's gonna he's gonna put you through the through the through the lessons so mm -hmm. that you test it right. And right. that's what we 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 have to feel this way, right? I'm being tested on how much longer I can keep this giving, how much longer I can keep this loving without being stupid, without being naive, right? Without just being naive and careless, and I'm I'm just gonna keep giving and loving. Read the sign, read the flags, right? When people are not deserving, don't waste your energy. You know, you just keep putting out, you know, what you do and the right people will come. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But man, that's what I was telling you. Like, I mean, the whole, the whole thing is you're not going to feel good one day, you know, and that's fine. And I would rather say, look, Seth, have the weekend off, bro. Monday, let's kill it. And if you feel good Sunday, let me know and I'll put in a workout in there for you. All right, man. Appreciate it. You know what? Just leave it there. I'm gonna work out Sunday just to just to get get off of this thing right now. I'm on this little, you know, rut or whatever today. Something happened in school, my homework, man, anything, man. So it's 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 training this. It's training this because life is always gonna be throwing stuff at us. You know. Mm. So not, not everything's going to go the way we're planning, but we got to be prepared to deal with it and turn it around. And like, what's the lesson for me? You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's where the, that's where our power comes. That's where mastering ourselves is, is just not, doesn't mean I'm, 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 you know, uh, oblivious, you know, I'm, I'm excused from problems and challenges. No, I'm going to keep having it. But now your mind is in a better, you're like, man, I'm not going to let this. I got so many more things later. I'm looking forward for my dinner tonight. I'm going to do this. I'm looking forward for lunch. I'm going to go see my parents. I'm going to see my family. Man, whatever this lady today cussing me out or whatever this thing was not even my fault. I'm not going to let get to me. You know what I mean? Right. But that's, that's, that's what we're trying to put together too, man. Like working out. Nutrition, we're giving you the tools and the accountability, mm -hmm. but we want to make sure that, you know, we're working on this as well, Yeah, you know, because, mm -hmm. and that's why I was telling you, being honest and, and transparent and trusting me, trusting Parker, you know, and, you know, trusting each other, you know, that's where it's at, you know, that we don't have to hide, we don't have to pretend. You don't have to please. You don't have to tell, say things. Just check it just so that I don't tell you, hey, why didn't you do it? You know, mm -hmm. you said it earlier. I mean, you, you just if, if you're going to say yes, it's because you're going to keep putting, pouring it on, you know, like you're going to stick to it. Right. Right. And in long term, the reason why it is long term, Seth, is because if we just measure 30 days, you know, at most likely within a week or two, something's going to happen. You're going to have finals, you know, you're going to have a lot of homework, 
your someone got fired and now you have to cover someone's shift and whatever man like it's always gonna happen mm -hmm. and then you're like hey you see g this is what i was telling you that my life gets crazy bro everybody's life is crazy <laughs> yeah what we do we come home we do 20 minutes we do 30 minutes when you wake up we do 30 mm -hmm. minutes before you go to sleep and that's mm -hmm. it right don't skip yeah. it let's get it tomorrow and then tomorrow's gonna be a better day and tomorrow right. no problem tomorrow we feel good man i'm so glad i didn't skip yesterday i feel my muscles are alive today and that's what i'm trying to do like you don't even know what i'm trying to do but you'll see it you know long term you know so i was just telling you long term means i know within the month two three we're gonna have some some bumps in the road and i have to make sure that that you learn these things because if you learn it for 30 days most likely the next 30 days you're not going to continue right. you know or you're going to go back to something and that's what like the whole point of the calls the meetings, these combos with me, with Parker, is to just keep this fresh. It's just to keep working on it. What's the thing? Man, I know, I know. I just gotta, I gotta brush it off, man. I know this and this. Okay, man, let's just keep at it. You know, what happened now? Man, this, 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 this. And we talked about it like you have on your groups as well. Like people want to talk, people want to be heard, people want to be listened to. And just realizing that everybody else is kind of maybe going through something similar makes you feel a little bit better, makes, gives you a little empowerment, gives you a little, you know, motivation to keep going. Like, hey, man, okay, I thought it was only for me. No, it's everyone, you know. But so let me, yeah, so let me start this right here.